I'm at the Stevenage office of the Institution of Engineering and Technology, where the Inspect database production team are about to celebrate the 10 millionth Inspect record. Let's begin by speaking to the Inspect producers, then the publishers, the authors, the end users, and other contributors in the network of people who have created or will be affected by this landmark publication. Alan, how would you say that Inspect has developed from its inception in 1969 to now offering 10 million records across a variety of different disciplines? I think um, Inspect has changed dramatically over the years. When we first started in 1969, it took us eight years to produce the first million record. We've made a lot of changes. We've put in uh, new production systems which weren't there originally. When we originally started, and we had handwritten manuscripts, indexes, a team of people keyboarding those on IBM typewriters. What are the main benefits that electronic input brings to Inspect, and how would you expect this to develop in the future? There are two main benefits that the electronic feed bring us. Um, the first one being that we receive material from the publishers in advance of it actually being published very often. Sometimes only weeks, but sometimes maybe months in advance of the hard copy being published. This allows us to put records on the database very currently. And the other side of it is that we also receive metadata, XML, from the publishers, which then gives us the ability to cut parts of our production process, making a saving in cost and allowing us to be able to put more records on the database. In what year would you expect the 20 millionth Inspect record to appear? I would expect the 20 millionth Inspect record to appear in 2020. Hopefully slightly under that, but probably around that time. Finally, would you like to break the news and tell us which journal has published the 10 millionth Inspect record? It is going to be an IOP published journal and it's called Nanotechnology. It hasn't come as a surprise that the 10 millionth Inspect record was a nanotechnology paper. There has been a huge rise in the number of nanotechnology papers in the last 10 years or so, following a dramatic increase in funding of this discipline worldwide. Researchers have always relied on abstracting and indexing services such as Inspect to manage information overload. With its comprehensive collection of scientific and technical journals, Inspect continues to provide ease of access to current publications as well as to its very content-rich database of research encompassing decades or even centuries of scholarly communication. I'm very pleased that the paper by the group of scientists based in Los Angeles and led by Professor Jim Jimzewski happens to be the Inspect 10 millionth record. Nina has revealed the author of the 10 millionth record. IET.TV travelled to California to meet the principal author, Professor Jim Gimzewski, at the California Nanosystems Institute at UCLA. My uh, research brings a new type of benefit to medical imaging. It's not about actually looking at things through the microscope or using, for instance, genomic probes or chemical probes. It's about the mechanics of the cell, and the mechanics of the cell gives you essential information about the healthiness of the cell. Things like cancer, for instance, cause cells to be extremely soft, particularly in the metastasis phase when they, when they spread through the body. So we can detect this, and it's essentially a new finger for the, the medical profession, if you like, to actually feel cells. Nanotechnology and nanomedicine is a new field and it encompasses many um, classical types of uh, discipline like engineering, medicine obviously, electronics, molecular sciences. So a researcher is not necessarily able to find the information in the old way where he would just you know, know his own field. And InSpec and services like this allow people to search through the information overflow that's coming from every field uh, and, and every place on the planet and allows them to get what the information they need rapidly. And what about the end users of the Inspect database? How will the publication of the 10 millionth record be received by academic researchers? I'm with Eric Yateman, Professor of Microelectronics at Imperial College. I've probably been using the Inspect database more or less since it was created. Uh, I go just about far enough back to have originally used uh, abstracting journals in the days before we didn't have electronic databases and uh, doing searches of the literature is absolutely crucial uh, in the kind of work we do, particularly where it's 
interdisciplinary and you need to look across a lot of journals and a lot of fields. I was introduced to the database by our library people and given some instruction. I've been using it pretty regularly ever since. I find the features on the database quite flexible and there are a lot of different kinds of searches you can do which is of great value to uh, multidisciplinary fields uh, that I work in like microtechnology and, and more recently uh, nanotechnology where you need to be able to approach the subject from a lot of different angles and you need to find the information you want quickly without necessarily having a clear idea of where it's going to be. So I do and my students do searches uh, coming at it from subject angles, author angles, uh, referencing and citation uh, angles and so on. I haven't noticed any uh, reduction in uh, usefulness or, or uh, ease of use of, of the database as it, as it, like other databases, gets bigger and bigger and, and covers more and more things. Uh, fortunately, the technology has kept moving ahead sufficiently that it's still fast, which is probably the most important thing. And the ability to home in on what you want from an ever-increasing range and variety of, of sources uh, is you know, more and more necessary, actually. And, uh, I think the database is pretty effective in allowing you to do that. Of course, the IET itself publishes many journals that cover nanotechnology. So let's speak to Helen Dybel, Managing Editor of Electronic Letters and the online journal Micro and Nano Letters. Well, it's a shame that the landmark 10 millionth item didn't come from one of our journals. But it's still fantastic for us as a publisher that every paper in our journals is indexed by InSpec and is therefore searchable by a huge number of researchers across the globe. The diversity of the subject coverage in InSpec creates an environment in which cross-disciplinary research can be inspired and new technologies can be created and explored. This is reflected by the classification terms in InSpec being updated every year and author's own terms are also included as searchable items, therefore ensuring the database is kept up to date with the latest terminologies and techniques. We use InSpec to look at publication trends and we continually update our current journals, or indeed create brand new ones, to represent fast-moving areas like nanotechnology. Ten million records and growing faster than ever, the InSpec database is already looking forward to further growth in its operations. With a new production system, more electronic input and increased subject coverage, who can predict when the 20 millionth record will appear and what technical advances it will describe? This is James Hayes for IET.TV.